Welcome back to my channel, everybody. It's winter. Just remember to like, comment, and subscribe, or don't and share life. I'm just glad that you came over to this side of the internet to spend a couple of minutes with me. Today's video, I'm going to do a really small mini haul. It is a black luxury bag haul. Um, it's not really a haul though. Like, well, to me, I feel like hauls are like you buy a bunch of stuff at one time. It arrives, you unbox it, boom, boom, boom. I've had these bags <laughs> for a while. Actually, one bag I've had for a year now. And it was my first luxury bag that I purchased for myself. It was a birthday gift to myself. Um, and I love it. It's like my favorite purse because, it'll probably always be my favorite purse, but that's because it was the first luxury bag I bought for myself. So let's get in. Sweet. The brand is Brands in Blackwood, New York City. If you don't know, now you know. Please get into Brandon Blackwood, New York City. He is an amazing designer, extremely generous. He's just an all around like great person. And I love Brandon. So I hope y'all go buy all his bags. And he just dropped a new collection. So everything on his site is new and y'all need to get into it. That's that on that. So the first bag is whichever bag is in here. I'm pretty sure this is my Chino bag. Um, so I bought it because I saw Solange Knowles with it and I wanted it. So I bought the bag. <laughs> oh, so all his all of all of his bags come in these beautiful dust bags. Like they're gorgeous. Let's get into it. Okay. So mm -mm -mm. this is my Chino bag. As you can see, I haven't used my Chino bag at all. <laughs> I have not taken my Chino bag anywhere. Um, I think it's because I just think it's such a pretty bag that I don't want to use it. Like, I just think it's so nice. So it's like an accordion in the way that it's designed. So you'll open it here and then it opens. Look at that, please. Come on, it's beautiful. And then I'll, like, I haven't, when I tell y'all, I have not used this bag. I have not used this bag at all, but that's the Chino. I saw Solange with it and literally was like, oh, I want this bag. I want it. I want that bag. Let me see. I gotta take all the little stuffings out of it. It's really deep. So it did. It doesn't look as deep as it is because I had all the stuffing in it. But if you look inside, it's a very, look at that. It's a very deep bag. So... Another thing about this bag too is I think the design. I'm doing all of this. <laughs> I think the design of this bag is like brilliant. I think it's amazing because it's really like an accordion. It'll like stretch, right? If you put more stuff in it, or it's really compact if there's nothing inside of it, and it holds its shape very, very well. And it is leather i don't believe this is a faux leather bag brandon does make i think some of the bags in this new collection are faux leather but most of brandon's pieces are going to be leather so if you don't like that i don't buy the bag like i don't know like <laughs> You don't, if you don't like leather, if you want faux leather, I mean, you can find, there's a bunch of other um, brands out there who make faux leather bags, but Brandon's, the brand, Brandon Black from New York City is not like a faux leather company. So every bag is not going to be faux leather. Just wanted to put that out there for you guys. Mm. The next bag is a bag I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen recently, and that is the N Systemic Racism Tote Bag. I oh, first of all, first sweetie, ooh, child, that's a let's let's just get into it. let's hold on let's wait a minute. I'm giving you thumbnail realness. Anyway. Um, this is the end systemic racism bag and it says end systemic racism is the same color as the hardware of the bag. It actually can be made longer. It has an adjustable strap that comes with it or you can carry it as a really simple cute little tote. 
I also have not used this bag yet. Okay, so um, a trend we're gonna see is that I haven't used the bags. Um, and that's just because I like the bags and then I just put them up for display and I like, really don't use them. But the next bag I'm gonna show you guys, which is the Baxter Mini. It's the first um, luxury bag I brought myself. It is leather, it's leather. So if you don't like that, don't, I mean, don't buy the bag. I don't know what to tell you, but it's leather. So just look at it one more time though. <laughs> this bag is, ah! this bag is so cute. I love this bag and it has a really great message. And also if you buy the end systemic racism tote bag, it, um, there are proceeds of the purchases go towards legal counsel for, you know, like wrongly incarcerated black and brown peoples. So definitely buy the end systemic racism tote bag. I did not explain that part of the bag very well, but I will in the description box. <laughs> Um, and the last bag I'm going to show you guys is the first, 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 first bag I ever bought myself. That's luxury. It meant a lot to me. I still have the note that Brandon wrote uh, when I bought this bag for my birthday. And um, I don't know why I'm getting like fake. Not fake, but I'm getting like emotional. Um, now this bag, she's seen a lot of you, sweetie. This bag, she go with me wherever I go. So anytime I'm going somewhere, anytime I'm going out, I'm just gonna be doing something cute. I take my bags to mini. It's pretty much my go-to like little black bag if you've ever, you know, like, people have little black dresses. This is my little black bag, so. I'm gonna show you the details of it. Again, it is leather. So like, if you don't like leather, don't buy the bag. <laughs> it's that simple, y'all. Um, and then it says Brandon Blackwood, New York. Um, I don't know what you like call this when they do it, but it's stamped into the leather. So it's pressed in there. So that's not going anywhere. Um, if you look at this bag closer, you can see like I have used it. This bag has gotten a lot of wear. I'm gonna just adjust my light. Yeah, so if you look at it, I have used this bag a lot. It has gotten a lot of wear. It just snaps open, it's really cute. This bag is also deep to me too. One thing I'll say, I feel like is a trend with a lot of Brandon's bags is, um, is that they look small, even like the bags that are described as mini. So this is the Baxter Mini, right? And it is a mini bag, but the, I don't, I don't know what you be doing, Brandon, but these bags be holding a lot of stuff. Like, <laughs> my Baxter Mini has, she's got me through everything, baby. Like, <laughs> she carries everything and, and stays looking like this. So it always has this really cute, like, sleek look to it all the time, even if there's a lot of stuff in it. it it just holds its shape very well. So I don't really know much about bags, so I'm not gonna sit here, but it's a soft leather. But it do feel soft. It is a soft bag. It does smell good. I love the smell of this bag. When I first got this bag, I was just a sniffing it all day. Ooh, still smells mad nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I've used this bag, I mean, all the time. The, Daily, I would wear this bag, like, you know, when we could go out and do stuff. I was wearing my bag to me daily. I took this bag everywhere. I typically hold it like this, so I'll wrap my, the chains. I like, I like how this feels. I'm a very tactile person, so I don't mind, like, having things wrapped up, and I like how that feels. So I would typically carry my bag to me literally like this, which, first of all, that's a look, sweetie. <laughs> get into it but i will hold my bags for me like this when i would go places and every now and then i would hold sis you know on the strap like that or i will hold her like this but most of the time i was wrapping up my bags to me and um holding her like a clutch even though it's not a clutch but that's my business anyway so this has been my really small luxury bag called black owned black owned Black owned, that's gonna be a trend that you're gonna see on this channel, okay? If I'm wearing it, it's probably black owned. Baby, down to the socks, shoes, underwear, 
And I'm not joking. I literally am that serious when it comes to black owned things. My candles, all my candles were made by a black woman. Mm-hmm. See, exactly. I thought I was joking. I'm not. <laughs> I I tried to make as many things in my life as possible. Um, I didn't say that right. I tried to make as many things in my life um, black owned. Like as many things as possible. If I can find a black owned alternative, you best believe I'm supporting. I'm supporting and I'm supporting like 10 times over. I'm what? You need to, a black person makes what? I'm buying it. Like what? I need some sheets. A black person makes some sheets. I'm buying it. Like if I can find the alternative, I am buying it. So right now, um, basically the only person I own other than persons that have been passed down to me from family or gifted to me from family are black owned. Yeah. 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 Every bag is black owned. So. But yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm try to use my other bags. I am. I'm gonna try to also start using my bags for mini again. I just think about Brandon's black. The thing about Brandon's bags is they're just like so nice that it just looks so nice. I just like, don't want to use them. I just want to hold on to my bag like this and like really not take it nowhere and like not use it. But like that's not the point of the bag. But it be looking so pretty. I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it at all. But. My bags are mini now. She did go everywhere though, like I said. She was going everywhere. I was too, I was too turned. My bags are mini. I used to be like, <laughs> smell it, it's leather. <laughs> it's luxury. <laughs> it's black owned, y'all. <laughs> that was me everywhere with my Baxter mini. Oh, I cannot wait so people know that it's a brand of Blackwood. It's the Baxter mini. <laughs> I couldn't wait. I was too excited. I was, and you know why? Because I was so proud to own um, a luxury like brand up in a purse at that that was black owned. That's why I wasn't. I wasn't like I didn't give off though like that energy with people because I was like feeling myself. I thought I did something buying this bag. Nah, I was just like so proud. Like I was just like. Yo, this bag is beautiful. It's black owned. Like, people ask me about this bag a lot when I wear it. And I kid you not, I go on like a rant like I am right now about Brandon and about Brandon Blackwood in New York City and about the bags because I'm just like, and it's black owned and he's mad cool. And I, 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 so. That's my whole video. I'm done. <laughs> oh, you guys enjoyed it. Um, please shop black owned as much as you can. Seriously. Like on a really serious note, like if you can support a black owned business, do that. And like do it as often as you can. Because there's a lot going on in the world right now. And the more that we can the more that we can support each other, the better. That's all I'm saying. So, thank you. Okay, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. It's your life. I'm just glad that you came over to this side of the internet to spend a couple minutes with me. <laughs> thank you.